I know I'm beating a dead record here, but I seriously hate my life sometimes. I was recording the second stage, and then Grandma called. Again. Oh, man. Never ending story with me. And not the good version. Okay. Well, we now have Miriam, and she's pretty awesome. I love her long whip attack. Very nice. Her high jump's pretty good too, since it allows her to hit a lot of enemies that Zangetsu only wishes he could hit. In his normal form, at least. Now, another good thing about her is her sub-weapons come off as a lot more versatile than, uh, than Getsu's does, to be sure. To the point to where he's almost not worth using once you unlock her. Unless she's dead, you know, because... Or low on health, I guess, but, uh... Okay, here we get a new sub-weapon for him. Which is about the only reason I would ever think to use him. But it has limited use. See, we got a path up here, which we're gonna be taking. It's that sub weapon of Zengetsu basically takes his sword move and basically does double damage with it for a short amount of time. Nobody needs that. I do love the fact that each character does have their own life bar. Now I believe if you come here during ultimate mode, you can take that optional path over there when you can fly, but uh, not right now, obviously. And this is Dagger, who cares? <laughs> the Dagger sub-weapon has never been good, no matter what game you're playing. I know we have some enemies that are just glorified annoyances, really. No. <laughs> I don't think so. No, I said. Yeah, the ghost enemies are easily some of the more annoying ones. In this stage, at least. This stage overall is not so bad, though. It's basically here just to show you the robes when it comes to Miriam. Uh. Head run, huh? Alright. Seriously, Roger, why did you have trouble with this room? Why? And we have these guys who are not a threat at all, just saying. Even if you have Sengetsu, that's not tough. Hmm. I can't hit you from down here, so screw it. Eh, you guys are easily dodgeable, so, uh, yeah. Now, when it comes to these guys, you can take that axe sub-weapon to kill them in one hit. I'll probably show off the sub-weapons in a different video. I'm more interested in just being in the level. You can attack him with the axe to kill him in one hit. Or you could just, you know, use the stairs. That works too. Ooh, what's that? 
Oh no, so I can't get to it though. They have it sealed off. What am I gonna do? Oh, yeah, you can break the wall and slide under. Right. Yeah. Tch. Yeah, that sub weapon's pretty great. Easily my favorite sub weapon in the game is the triple um, knife throw. Kind of makes the single knife throw almost to where it shouldn't be in the game, really. Don't want to give you that. Good. Couldn't quite get the hit in time. Yeah, you two could go away. Seriously. Okay, now I want you guys to drop some health, so come on. If you guys are going to be cheap like that, you need to give me health to compensate. Come on. You know you want to. Not money. Heart. Heart. Come on. Ah, Come on. I don't want to spend all day on this. Heart. Where's Mati when you need him? Ugh. Come on. Are you serious? Really? <laughs> Desire sensor. Why? Yeah. Um. I do not need weapon energy. Give me heart. Come on, it's not that rare, is it? Usually I get them all the time to drop. Unless they made it lower in veteran mode. I bet they did. Well, screw it, I don't care. Oh well. Hopefully it won't be a huge problem. I mean, I don't usually have a problem with the boss. I got a few cheap hits in there. And jump, okay. One, two, three, move. Go to the far right. Oh, wait, never mind. He went to the left this time, okay. He brings up the water shield from Mega Man 10, because it creates, and you just break it, and he slash she just goes around the room in a rotating formation, you can get a lot of free hits on it, and then the pattern repeats once he's done that. Oh jeez, I suck at this. I did it! Awesome! Wow. I'm glad they save your lives. At least I think they save them. And now we have... Uh, teammate number three. You are a jerk in Bloodstain, just saying. Granted, so is in Ketsu, but... But yeah, Alfred is a big jerk in Bloodstain from what I saw. Holy crap. I'll leave your head where it is for now. Thanks, Dick. I didn't ask. Tch. I love Tony's review on this game, but, uh... Yeah, Alfred, I'm not a big fan. Okay, this is telling me the same thing. Yeah, it's the same thing, okay. This is new, though. I'm not a big fan of the Alfred playstyle. He's basically your magic user, but, and I'm usually big on that, but I find a lot of his sub-weapons just very lackluster compared to what the other characters can use. I mean, he's still better than Zengetsu in the sub-weapon department, but 
Not by much. Now I want to test something here, and I might regret it later. The Brilliant Void. Haha. -ha. Exit game. Go back to my save file. Yes, it does save your extra lives. Nice. Kinda wish that was the case for Rondo of Blood, Castlevania, but... Oh well. That game doesn't really require the extra lives, and it doesn't look like this one will either. But then again, I could be wrong about that. <laughs> we'll see what happens. The only lose of extra life, however, if all of your party members ever die in one cycle. So it's more like I have like 18, I mean, 18 lives right now, if you multiply that by 3, so... That's beyond generous, really. But yeah, I'll be saving that for next time. <laughs>